Yeah. Look what I got. RPM. Got attack. Oh yeah. It's not a mini tack, it's just one of those ordinary tacks there that you got for your car or something. And it's a four wire tack. And uh, I'm planning on putting this on my four wheeler. Be very useful. Because <laughs> uh, I uh, rev the thing out of like crazy. So, as you can see, it's a four wire tack. You got red, white, green, and black. And I've looked in a lot of places to figure it out, and I couldn't figure it out, so I asked my uh, buddy, because uh, he's a real mechanic, and uh, he, he actually works on race cars and stuff. So I'm using my good camera, because I want you guys to see this better, if these uh, freaking wires would stay. Anyway, here, this is, these are the four wires, right here. Where, where's the tip of the black? There it is. Okay, anyway. Anyway, so I just wanted to say what which wire goes where because I, I looked in a lot of places and asked a couple of guys that didn't know, so now I figured it out. So your first wire is your green wire. And uh, so your first wire is your green wire and uh, your green wire would go to your um, ignition module where your kill switch would be. You would find out where your kill switch would actually hook up to so let's say it's on a car you would find your kill switch and you would just pop that wire in there and you leave down there and your black one would always go to ground your black one it has to be contacted the ground at all times to to make it it work so your batteries already hooked up to ground so you could just do that. This one always has to be hooked up to the ground. And then you have these two. The white one, you could buy a three wire tack. But I know the four wire tacks are the same thing. But the red one is the main positive that actually makes the tack work. And the white one here is for the light that's in the tack itself that lights up the orange bar, the little red thing there. And on the sides it lights up a bit, so you can see it in the dark, which is going to be very useful. And um, I know this thing, I, I know this one, this particular one is not waterproof, so I'm going to make a, a little box out of plexiglass. And uh, so it comes with uh, this plate, a bolt, and a lock washer, and a screw. So the way it says to hook this up is and it comes with this rubber thing inside which is in my garage and it says when you install it to put the rubber like washer gasket or whatever it is and then they say go buy a hose clamp and like use a hose clamp right across your tube and tighten that up and you go from there to mount it but it also comes with this plate so I'm probably going to use this plate it's going to be the best thing for me and uh, I tried it out on my go-kart it works really well so when I'm idling on my go-kart I'm like way down to like 300 rpm and the minute I gave it some gas and went up to like 500 and 1000 and 1500 and then I hit the governor because at a point it's gonna reach 3600 rpm and I want to see how, how if this thing really actually is accurate. So I hit the governor and I made it go up. Like it revved up like crazy. I reached 6,000 RPM and I let it go. So it's pretty cool. So this is the, uh, in the instructions. They call this the red line. Because <laughs> if you look on the gauge, there's no red line. So, so yeah, remember positive going to your positive off the battery light going to positive positive off the battery negative going to ground and your green going to your uh, ignition module or your kill switch or whatever simple as that later